<coughs> so, today we will take an example and show how to solve the simplex method that uh, LP problem by using simplex method by what is called the tabular form. Let us consider this example. Maximize f of x, x is a variable, there are two decision variables are there, its dimension is 2 cross 1 x. So, it is a we have 99 x 1 plus 90 x 2 plus 5 to 5 to 5, this is the objective function. Subject to subject to inequality constant that is 4 x 1 plus 6 x 2 is less than equal to 85 and 30 x 1 minus 10 x 2 is less than equal to 250 and 30 x 1 plus 60 x 2 is less than equal to 700 and our x i, i varies is greater than 0, i how we have a 2, i 1 and i 2, x 1, x 2. These are the constraints are given, we have to solve, we have to maximize this function. Last class we have solved a problem of linear programming problem using what is called the algebraic approach, algebraic approach. So, today we will solve the LP problem using the tabular form. The same basic concept is exactly same as before, only we are representing the all operation in tabular form. So, let us kill as you know our first job is LP problem to convert into a standard LP problems. So, first we convert step 1, we convert this problem into a standard LP problem convert standard LP problem. Our standard LP problem is we have considered in the beginning that maxim, minimize the function. So, we, our given problem is maximization. So, we will solve this problem that optimization problem LP linear optimization problem by considering the minimization of a objective function. So, f minimize the function let us call z the function which is nothing but a minus f of x. f of x is the maximization with preceding sign minus means it is a minimization that we have explained earlier also that uh, this is nothing but a 99 x 1 minus sign minus 90 x 2 minus 5 to 5 subject to to the constraint. What is the constraint we have to standard LP problem? This inequality, inequality constraints which is of this type less than equal to all are less than equal to of this type there may be a some greater than equal to some expression is greater than linear expression greater than equal to some numerical values. So, we will see later how to tackle such type of problem. For the time being we are considering the inequality of less than equal to type. So, this we have to convert it equal to sign. So, 4 x 1 plus 6 x 2 and this quantity left hand side is less than 85. So, we have to add some variables let us call we are adding some variable new variables x 3 and which we call the slack variable. This equal to 85 and not only this right hand side equal to sign we have to convert we have to take care. So, that the right hand side quantity constant quantity is positive quantity non-zero component positive quantity. This is we have converted first one 
and second one is 30 x 1 minus 10 x 2 plus this is less than 250 that means something some variable we have to add it to this expression that means let us call this is x 4 is equal to 250 and we have a last equation inequality equation 30 x 1 plus 60 x 2 is less than 700 that means we have to add another variable which is slack variable this is also slack variable x 4 x 5 is a slack variable each slack variable value is greater than or equal to 0. So, that is your 700 with the constraints that x i is greater than or equal to 0 for i is equal to in your case now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if you see the right hand side of the equality constraint that is b we denoted by vector v earlier that is we written as this 85 first equation equality sign is 85 250 then 700 and each component of this vector is greater than 0. So, this problem we have to solve first we have converted into standard LP problems next is start So, initial basic solution. The way we did it for algebraic approach, the same way we are doing it. So, we have to identify which are the variables are non basic variable, which variables are basic variables. Agree? That means, in other words, non basic variable we are assigned to 0 and basic variable, hence, a basic variable we are able to calculate from the expressions. So, now I am writing into the way we have did it for algebraic approach. Now, I am put it in tabular form exactly same manner. So, <coughs> this is initial table for the LP problem the basic variable table 1. So, you can write it this So, you can write it in first table agree initial table here, table u for the LP problem for the LP problem. So, first column you write it the basic variables basic or choice of basic variables, variables I am putting in this rate down. Then I am writing all the variables assigned in the standard LP problem x 1 we have a all together 5 variables x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 then x 5. Then we will write right hand side of the equality constraints that is B. B i you can say. Then we write it the ratio of B i divided by A i j. So, let us call this equation first equation I am writing the first equation 4 x 1 plus 6 x 2 plus x 3 is equal to 85 x 1 that is 4 4 into x 1 next is plus 6 into x 2 below x 2 6 then x 3 1 into x 3 below x 3 1 and there is no x 4 x 5. So, I will put this coefficient is 0 and right hand side is what 85. Similarly, this equation x 1 30 into x 1. So, x 1 coefficient is 30 then minus 10 into x 2 minus 10 then no x 3 x 4 1 into x 4 x 3 there is no x 3 that means in other words I can 3 I can say x 3 coefficient is 0 then x 4 coefficient is 1 
there is no x 5. So, I can assume x 5 coefficient is 0 is equal to 250. Similarly, the third equation 30 x 1 30 60 x 2 then no there is no x 3 x 4. So, their coefficient I can write 0 then x 5 coefficient is 1 that is equal to your 700. So, this is the standard LP problem this is the equality constant I have written into tabular form. Okay. Next is your cost function mean objective function expression function I am writing. So, see the objective function here z minimize z is minus 99 into x 1 x 1 coefficient is minus 99. So, minus 99 x 1 below x 1 minus 99 and you see this minus 90 x 2 x 2 coefficient is minus 90. So, below x 2 I will write minus 90 and there is no other variables are here. So, the coefficient I can write it this into this into this. Now, look at this expression if you recollect I mentioned earlier that if you add a constant term with the objective function then the function below maximum that minimum or maximum below of the function at what point it occurs if you add a constant term to the function it will occur in the same point only you can say the whole objective function curve is lifted up or down depending upon the value of that constant term either positive or negative. So, I can easily put it this into that side z okay, with z. So, our now objective function I will tell z plus 525 this is our objective function value now z plus 525. So, we will tell z plus 525 this function we have to minimize. So, first iteration you see I have written this one. Now, which one I will consider the objective function what is called non basic function and non basic variables and basic variables. And if you see this matrix itself that our according to our definition, definition this is the A matrix. A matrix the x 3 involved in equation number 1 only no other x 3 is there x 4 involved in equation number 2 this equation only and x 5 it involves in equation number 3 no other uh, equation. So, I can easily consider the x 3 x 4 x 5 x 3 x 4 x 5 are the basic variables. So, I, I am writing x 1 sorry x 3 x 3 x 4 x 5 this is the basic variable I have considered and non basic variables are the remaining. Okay? If you recollect if you have a equation that a inequality equation or equality equation of the what is called LP problem there are m equations or the n variables are there. So, there will be basic variable is m and remaining n minus m variables will be the non basic variable. Similarly, here also we have a 3 equation 5 unknowns are there. So, 3 are the basic variables and 2 are the non variable. remaining variables are non basic variables. So, I identify with an arrow x 1 and x 2 these are the non basic variables. Agree? Now, you see from this table if x 1 and x 2 are non basic variable means its value is assigned to 0, its values is assigned to 0 then immediately from this expression I can find out x 3 is equal to 85 you see 4 into 4 into x 1 this value is 0. So, 0 plus 6 into x 2 x 2 value is 0 this is 0 plus x 3 into 1. 0 into x 4 0, 0 into x 5 0. 
So, our x 3 non basic variable is 85. Similarly, in this expression you see our x 4 is equal to 250, there our x 5 is equal to 750, because 13 to x 1, x 1 value is 0, 16 to x 2, x 2 value is 0, only x 5 is equal to 7, 700. So, from this we can straight away we can write from this table that <coughs> what is called our <coughs> treating x 3, x 4 and x 5 are the basic variables. and x 1, x 2 are the non basic variables whose values are 0 non basic variables. Then we have, we have now from the table, if you see now we have from the table I can write we have now from the table x what is our x 3? x 3 value is you see x 3 value is there is 1 this this coefficient is 0 4 into x 1 6 into plus 6 into x 2 x 1 x 2 value is 0. So, our x 3 is equal to 85 x 3 value is our 85 similarly x 4 value is 250 similarly x 5 value is 700. Okay? So, these are the basic solution of that one. <coughs> now, and corresponding objective function value is what? See this one x 1 into 99 0 plus x 2 into 90 0 x 3 into 0 0 plus plus x 4 into 0 0. So, our objective function value is this left hand side is 0 right hand side is this. So, z is equal to minus 525. If you see and and the corresponding the corresponding objective function below cost function below is z plus 525 is equal to 0, z is equal to minus 25. Now, our search we have to search we have to move agree to the adjacent vertex. So, that the function value is further decrease or the rate of decrement must be negative agree negative decrement. So, now we find out we have to select which one which non basic variable there are two non basic variable x 1 x 2 which one go for a basic variable means entering as a basic variable which one x 1 or x 2. Similarly, from the basic variable which one will, will live as a non basic variable which one live as a non basic variable either x 3, x 4, x 5 living or you can say living basic variable which one is living the basic variable living basic variable. So, let us see with this one if you make it concentration on this one that our actual 99 into x 1 minus 1990 into x 2 we have already explained that the largest negative coefficient will be our choice of pivot column mean that means, which element which variable we will consider as a basic variable of non basic variables which variable. So, largest coefficient in the objective function is that one negative sign largest coefficient with negative sign is that one. So, this is I will call as a we will call as a pivot column. Agree? So, you concentrate on the the cost function expression. What is the expression? Min minus 99 into x 1 
minus 90 plus minus 90 into x 2, 0 into x 3, x 3, only this are. So, in the objective function or cost function, only non basic variables are there. Agree? And out of these two non basic variables, which variable will consider as a basic variable? The variable which having the what is called largest negative coefficient that will be treated as a that non basic variable will be treated as a basic variable. That means, it is leaving from the non basic variable and entering as a basic variable. So, you will write E B P entering basic variables this one. Agree? So, our if you remember, so this column and this column belongs to that x 1. So, this is the pivot column is this x 1 will go as a basic variable. Now, which variable that means x 3, x 4, x 5, which variable now will act as a non basic variable. So, that we have seen, we have told you that how to check it this one, take the ratio b this is b 1, b 2, b 3, b 1 this is first row b 1 divided by a 1 the which column first column. So, I will write it this is the ratio you calculate 85 divided by 4. Then this is, is v 2 is 250 divided by 30, then it is 700 divided by 30. Suppose, if you have a negative sign here that things you just ignore because that will if you if you get a negative sign you this one see what is happening minus 30 if it is a negative minus 30 into x 1 plus 60 into x 2 agree plus x 3 plus x 5 is equal to 700 agree. Now, you see that x 5 that what we are telling is the x 5 is equal to what minus 30 if you take that side right hand side it will pass plus 30 x 1 then minus 60 x 2 agree. So, you have already considered this is the pivot element of this one. So, if you value is increase if you take that side it will be 30 x 1 if x 1 value is increase from 0 then the function value is increasing instead of decreasing it is increasing. So, that is why if there is a negative sign is there you should not consider that quantity. Agree? So, you cannot make what I am telling you cannot make x 5 look at this you cannot make x 5 0 by entering this one is a if it is a negative. So, if it is negative that corresponding ratio you ignore it. So, now we have all are positive we got it this one out of this ratio which was is the minimum a list that will consider as a pivot row that is also we have discussed when we have discussed in a algebraic approach. So, if you find out this one this will be at 21.4 21.25 okay? and this ratio will be 8.33 and this ratio will be your 23.33. So, you will take the ratio which one is the list. So, this is the list one. So, this arrow according to the arrow will give you the pivot row. So, this corresponding to this you see x 4 is the pivot row that from here is a 1 corresponding to 1 is x 4 now. So, out of x 3, x 4, x 5 the 1 is identified as a non basic variable that means, living basic variable which variable is living x 4 is living as a non basic variable. So, you just identify this column. So, which element is the pivot element now this is our pivot element pivot column and pivot row corresponding to the element the common element is the pivot element this call pivot element. So, 
Now, you can see the x 1 I will treat as a basic variable, this is pivot column you find it and x 4 I will treat as a non basic variable. So, you have to now generate that what is called new table. So, table 2, second table you say, second table. In the seminal table, just now you have mentioned making x 1 as basic variable and remaining variables are same. Previously, x 3, x 4, x 5 is the basic variable was there. Now, we have identified, we have identified x 4 is living, living from the basic variables and acting as a non basic variable. So, x 4 place that is x 1 will take place, non basic variable x 1 will act as the basic variable and other basic variable is what x 3 and x 5. In resultant we can say our basic variables are now x 1, x 3 and x 5 and which, <coughs> which uh, basic variable now treated as a non basic variable that is your x 4. Our x 4 and x 4 as non basic variable. So, you can call this x 1 is this x 1 is called that entering basic variable x 1 entering as a basic variable this one you can say that this basic variable living basic variable living basic variable which variable is living x 4 is living basic variables this one. So, now keeping this thing in mind we just um, write the second table from the second table see how I am forming again you write basic variables. Again, you x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4, x 5, then b, agree? then our ratio, what is called b i divided by a i j ratio, this. So, you see previous that table, which one is basic variable? pivot element this is and that element coefficient is x 1 coefficient is 30, but I have to make it 1 coefficient, because when you are converted into canonical all coefficient was 1 1 1 you see x 4 was 1. Now, this is a basic variable acting as a x 1 is a basic variable. So, that coefficient must be 1. What does it mean? That whole equation I am dividing by 1 scaling by 30, I am scaling by 30. So, if you put the whole equation, if you scaling by 30, 30 by 30 1 minus 10 by 30, 0 by 30, 1 by 30, 0 by 30, 250 by 30. So, if you do this one that corresponding to that our second row. So, I am writing the second row you see 1 then minus 10 by 30 then what is this value will become ten? one third means minus 0 0.333 then 0 by 30 this value will be 0 then 1 by 30 1 by 30 this will be 1 by 30 that means this will be a 0 0.0333 then 0 by 30 0 and 250 by 30 that is 0 and that is 250 by 30 will be 8.33. So, this and since x 1 is the basic variable and it is an other basic variable is here previously you see x 3 variable 
than x 5, but x 4 is going as a non basic variable. So, this place will be replaced by x 1. So, x 3 then x 1 then x 5 this indicates who are the which one of the basic variable and non basic variable is what previously x 2 now it is x 2. Now, x 4 has treated as a non basic variable I am put it with arrow non basic variables. non basic variable. So, this basic variables you see if you see the x 1, x 4, x 5 the basic variable in one equation x 3 first equation the x 3 is involved other equation x 3 is not that there. That means, the basic variable involved in one equation only x 4 basic variable involved in second equation only other two equation it does not first and third is not involved. So, here I made it, but you see in the first equation the first equation x 1 in involved 4 into x 1. So, I have to remove it that I can remove it by elementary operations you can say. Now, what I did it after scaling this equation I multiplied by 4, because I have to remove that 4 from the first equation. Agree? If you remove, if you multiply by 4, I am just writing this is the equation number 4 or e equation number 1. So, you do the operation equation number 1 minus equation number 2 multiplied by 4. So, if you multiply by 4, it is a 4, 4 multiplied by 4 whole row. Agree? So, and see this, this one I multiplied by 4. So, 2 multiplied by 4 and then subtract from 1. So, if it is it is multiplied by 4 minus 4 minus 4 0. So, this is how much 4 means 4 into this it will be 1.3 something and that coefficient is 6. So, 6 minus of this one and what is this one? If you see this value will come 4.668. Okay. This is 6, I multiplied by this, I multiplied by this 4. That means, if I what you will multiply by 4? If you multiply by 4, this will be this, this will be how much just a rough calculation you see this will be 1 point just like 1.43 just 0.333 multiplied by 4 this will be 1.3 3 minus sign and you are subtracting that one. So, that will value will be what subtracting means it will be a it is already minus is there minus is subtracting that is it will be 7.33 in so, so 7.332 please check it this one. So, this I divided by 30 first. So, this is 1 this is one third this is 0 this is 1 by 30 1 by 30 then 0. 250 by 30 that is this one. Now, I am doing elementary operations I multiplied by I multiplied by this equation after scaling by 4 and subtracting from this subtracted from 1. So, 1 1 into 4 4 minus 4 0 then this is minus already agree. So, 1 point P, I subtracted from this one 6 plus 7 0 minus 1 that means, this will be 1. Okay. Then, this is subtracted, this is multiplied by 4. 4 means, just now you have calculated it is 1 point, but it is 0 0.03 that value will be 0 0.1322 and x 4 value is what? 0. So, point this, this will be minus 0 0.1332, this is 0 and x 5 value is 
0. So, that will be also 0. Then this multiplied by 4, 8.3 multiplied by 4, agree and subtracted from that 85. So, this will be near about 32 something and you see 8.33 multiplied by 4, agree 33 something subtracted from 85. Then you subtract this one, it will be coming 51.68. Now, you see in this equation from first equation x 1 is eliminated. So, x 1 is involved in equation number 2, but here x 1 also there. So, that from row 3 the x 1 must be eliminated. So, how you do it? This is already you have scaled by 1. So, this equation you multiplied by 30. So, second equation second that this equation you will get it 3 minus 2 multiplied by 30. Agree? If you multiply it by 30 is nothing but a that that one. So, what will be? you subtract 3 minus this if you subtract 3 minus this it is 0, 3 minus this this minus this 70. So, it will be 0 then 70 then you see 0 0 0 then <coughs> this 0 minus this that will be minus 1 then you see 0 1 minus 0 0 I am a 1 then it, you see this one this is 700 minus 250 it is a 450. So, I got it this one. Now, you see there is no harm if you see this expression now, if you see in this expression x 1, if you see x 1 multiplied by 99, x 2 min minus 90, there is no harm if you keep it like this way, but you see I can easily because I know the expression for x 1, I can easily eliminate x 1 from this equation from this second, e second equation with the help of second equation I can eliminate what is called our basic variables from the objective function. There is nothing wrong if you just eliminate. Agree? How will you eliminate? That this coefficient is you see 99 into x 1. If you want to eliminate x 1 from e objective function, I have to multiply the normalized equation of equation 2 by 99, then add it. So, if you multiply by in order to this is a cost function. Agree? In cost function, the our position is fourth equation. So, fourth equation minus equation number 2, this is our equation number 2 into 99. Okay. So, if you multiply by 99 and subtract from this one, multiply by 99 this one and subtract from this equation, not subtract add this you have to add it. So, I made it add because already this minus sign is there you have to add it. So, if you add it then you can write it this is 0 and this is you multiply by 99 add it with this one. Agree? 99 means approximately 100 it all call that is mean 33.3 agree? and add with this one. So, it will be what will be this one near about 33. So, 37 something agree? if you add it this this one you will get it how much? How much you will get it? This is minus 99. So, you are divided by this, you got it this one. So, you add it this one. So, this I am adding with this one. I am adding is this one that is minus 99 and this is 33, 33 point that means 123 near about 123 some this. Agree? Now, this 0, 0 and third position is 0. 
So, 0 0, then this multiplied by 99, let us call 100. So, it is 3.33, add with the corresponding element, the corresponding element means x 4, x 4 is your 0. So, it will come 33, 100, 3.3. So, 3.3 then this 99 and this position is your 0. So, this will come 0 and this is what you have multiplied by 99 add with that add with what z plus 525. If you added this one, it will come z plus 1350. Agree? So, what I have written it here exactly same thing you are doing here agree? this way. This is for corresponding to in order to get this row, this is corresponding to in order to get this row agree? then this is corresponding in order to get this row. Now, look at this objective functions, the coefficient non zero coefficient non zero coefficient objective function related with the non basic variables is x 2 into this one, x 4 into this one previous table if you see exactly same and the basic variable coefficients are 0. Agree? So, what is this cost function values x 1 into 0 plus x 2 into this one, x 2 value also 0 non basic variable x 3 value is non zero but its value is coefficient is 0 0 plus x4 into 3.3 but x4 value is non basic its value is 0 x5 into 0 x5 is not equal to 0 because it is a basic variable but this coefficient is 0 so our objective function value is that one z plus 1350 1350 this is 1350 agree so, I can easily find out this one. So, now you see this one. So, from the table immediately I can write what is the basic variables value x 1 value you see x 1 value is 8.33 how x 1 into 1 x 2 into this quantity plus x 2 value is 0 x 3 into 0. 0 plus x 4 into 0, x 4 value is 0, 0, x 5 into 0, 0. So, x 1 value is only 8.33. Similarly, I can write x 3 value. Similarly, I can write x 3 value. See, x 3 value is 51 point x 3 value 51.68 and x 5 value is our x y value is our 450. So, these are all basic variables value values. Non basic variable is what x 2 is equal to 0, x 4 is equal to 0. Now, look at this objective function, this objective function you see. 123 into x 2 and you have a x 3.3 into x 4. So, if you want to make it this is non basic variable to basic variable x 4 value you have to increase it. If you increase the function value will also increase. So, that will not disturb that positive quantity that will be act as a non basic variable, but here you see this is minus 123 if you increase the value from 0 to some positive value, the whole function value is now decrease. Agree? So, this one can do it. Hello? Hmm. <laughs> Class A. So, <coughs> Um, this I can take it now which one will be our pivot column. I told you if you recollect this one, you look at the 
coefficient of objective function, which is most negative coefficient that will be considered as a pivot column. So, our this is the pivot column for pivot column for the second table. So, this is our pivot column. So, that means now the x 2 will go as a basic variable. Now, I have to find out if x 2 go as a basic variable, then which variables basic variable will enter in place of x 2. So, so, that will be decided by the ratio of that one that we have explained you when we are discussing the algebraic approach. So, this ratio will be 51.68 divided by 7.332 and that value is coming 10.4. Agree? And this negative I told you do not care because that will not help you to in what decrease our function value. So, this is 450 divided by 70, this value is coming 6.43 and lowest positive ratio is this one. Okay. So, this row will be treated as a what is called row pivot row, means in this row we have whatever the basic variable we have that will be that will go as a non basic variable and you see this is coefficient of this one is a 1 and this is x 5 here also you see x 5. So, our if you just draw a that row and this will treat as an pivot pivot column sorry element. So, this is the plan. So, we have to now start our operation with this element. So, with this element that means, this element is which one x 2, x 2 go as a basic variable and x 5 will go as a non basic variable. So, basic variable if it is x 2 is a basic variable that coefficient you see you have here, here. So, that coefficient I have to make it 0. Similarly, the corresponding coefficient in the objective function that also you have to make it 0 by using elementary row operation. The same procedure if you follow. Now, you see that our what is the from this table what is our objective function below is minus 13.25. Previously, we got it if you see this one previously function below we got it z is equal to some function yes minus 525. Now, we got minus 1350. Agree? So, now function value is decreased. Further, we can decrease the function value since the coefficient of the objective function one coefficient is negative. Agree? So, there is a possibility to increase that one. So, let us call in table 3 now, third table. So, third table can you tell me which one will be your entering basic variable? Our entering basic variable is this basic basic uh, x 2 is entering as a basic variable. So, in short I write it entering basic variable is x 2. So, living basic variable which very which basic variable is living that means x 5. So, x 5 living basic variable is x 5. So, now you can easily generate our table same way x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4, x 5, b then ratio b i where a i j agree and here is basic variables. Okay. So, if you recollect this one what I told you here just now the our <coughs> this is the pivot element. So, I have to divide that one by 70 that third row I have divided by 70 because I have to make its coefficient 1. So, if you divide by 70 this equation it is 0 
1 0 1 by 70. So, I am writing the third last equation that is 0 1 then 0 then 1 by 17 minus 1 by 70 then 1 by 70 agree then this is our if you see 450 by 70 450 by 70 is a 45 by 7 in other words this one and which value is 6 point this value is 6.4 6 agree this one. So, I have to remove I have to eliminate x 1 from this equation from this equation and as well as from this equation. So, what I will do it this one equation number 1 agree equation number 1 multiplied by this equation after normalizing what we got it this you multiplied by 7.33 and subtract from equation 1 and subtract from equation 1 agree you this equation after normalizing you multiplied by 7.33 then subtract from equation 1 similarly to get eliminate x2 you multiplied by this equation after normalization by 3.33 and add with equation number 2 to eliminate that one agree and then this equation you multiply it by after normalization third equation after multiplying by this by 123 add with the objective function then you will get it what you will get it you just see. So, our non basic variables are which one we have identified non basic variables our non basic variables is x 4 and x 5 x 5 is going as a non basic variable. So, x 5 and then your our x 4 is the non basic variables agree and our basic variables are x 1 previously our x 1 this is x 3 x 1 and x 2. If you see <coughs> see this one x 3 x 3 was then x 1 x 3 x 1 then x 2 is entering as a basic variable. So, I have written x 2. So, this is the our basic variables. So, now if you filled up this this one then you will get it this the similar manner if you do it it is 0 1 just as it is I told you the same method if you follow it. See a third equation I multiplied by this third equation is the I multiplied by in order to get this one what I am writing see equation number 1 equation number 1 minus equation number 3 into 7.332. In order to get equation number 2 equation number 2 minus equation number 3 not minus it is already plus minus is there I have to add this multiplied by 0.333. So, then next cost function how you got it the cost function then you will get it that equation number 4 equation number 4 this is the equation number 4 plus equation number 3 into 123 one to three. if you do it you will get this okay. finally if you do this operation equation number 1 then your 2 and 4 then you will get finally the results of that one 0 0 0 12.01 1.758 then your this will come f plus 2140.64 agree 64 and this will come that is x 4 that value 
this will come 0, then this will become 0 0.0285, this will come 4.7 to 10 to the power 6 and 10.47, agree? and this will come minus 0 0.143 and 20.99. Agree? Now, immediately you can see x 3 value is what? 20.98, x 1 value is what? 10.47, x 2 value is what? 6.42, agree? 6.42. So, and these values is will be coming, see this value, the 1 by 70 into 1 by 70 into this, this will be 0. So, okay, next class I will complete this table. Okay. So, now time is up. So, I just complete next class this. So, we will start from this table next class. So, if you see this last row of the object function, it will be totally all coefficients are positive. That means, there is no chance to improve the function value means decrease the function value by changing one of the basic variable is a non basic variable and non basic variable as a basic variable. So, you will continue next class.